Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Is anybody there? Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. And how about you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. How is um, Joel, if I'm not wrong? <laughs> yes. Ah, Joel. Okay. How is he? Is he all right? Yes, he is very well. Excellent. Very good. Welcome. Welcome to the class, everyone. Where are your classmates? Remember, guys, that tomorrow is the day off, not today, <laughs> okay? I think uh, your classmate um, got confused, maybe. So I hope that they can connect um, soon. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the class. How are you today? <laughs> Hello, Rafael. How Hello. are you? I'm tired. Very tired. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. But guys, let's imagine that it's Friday. <laughs> yes, let's resist. Only one more day. Tomorrow is vacation. <laughs> let's resist. Let's resist a little bit more. Will you work tomorrow, Rafael? Um, no, teacher. So you see, so tomorrow you can wake up late, you can relax. So, so. <laughs> yes, let's resist, let's resist a little bit. Okay, who else is there? Hello, buddies, how are you? Boris, you there? Hmm. Okay. And I can see Edwin too. Hello, Edwin. You're there? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. How about you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to the class. I know it's been a long week. I know that you might be tired. So remember, today is Thursday, but it's like 
Friday, all right? So let's start today's class, okay? Uh, I want you guys to participate. Remember, if you participate a lot, if you talk, you will feel that the class is shorter. But if you don't participate, you will feel that the class is a little bit longer, okay? So it's only two hours. Let's start. I'm going to start sharing the presentation. Um, let's see. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes, we can. Yes. Yes, yes we can. Excellent. Very oh, good. Okay. So today is today is July six. Oh, All right. Uh, be careful with the microphones, please. I don't know. I don't know. All right. So we are basically guys. In the week number two, today we are going to finish the week number two and we are starting the unit number two. Okay, so don't forget to advance on the platform, everyone. A reminder, tomorrow is day off. So tomorrow, everyone, no classes, okay? So tomorrow you can start a, a long weekend so you can enjoy it. Any plans for this weekend, everyone? Do you have any plans? For the moment, and sleeping. <laughs> sleeping. All day. All day. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. <laughs> and you guys, do you have any plans? Friday in my class. <laughs> All the day. Friday. Okay. Uh huh work on the platform, review the vocabulary, right? Mm, don't forget to work on the platform, everyone, please. So uh, tomorrow day off at the end, guys, remember that we are going to connect until Monday, okay? Now, this is the topic that we are going to study today, analyze 3PL service vocabulary okay and this is our class objective i need a volunteer for reading the class objective please class objective participants will be able to express the advantage advantages advantage, advantages advantage advantages Advantages. Of sourcing, mm -hmm. Advantages of sourcing a 3P ill service provider and how connector today speaks. Thank you. So we are going to be talking about outsourcing. If you remember in the previous classes, we talked a little bit about it. And we are going to see what a 3P ill service provider is. Okay, we are going to see some vocabulary. And of course, we are going to have some role plays because as always, I wanted to talk a lot. But before starting, if you remember yesterday, we were talking about the seven R's in logistics. Uh, can you tell me the seven R's? Which one do you remember? Right place. Right place. Right time. Right time. Right, place. right right customer uh -huh, uh -huh. right when the right customer all right uh -huh. what else right price very good right quantity right quantity very good exactly those are the seven r's right um let's see if i'm talking about the right time can you explain me that what is the meaning of right time? What does it mean? Do you remember? Anyone? Right time is a similar use of time. Mm -hmm. For example, for some, uh, uh, the customer uh, Recure the 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 product in uh, 
in two days uh, the 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 reply or the the producer mm -hmm. uh, send uh, send in two day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So imagine if the provider says you will receive the product in two days. I mean, you have to receive it in two days. But if the product arrives one week later, is that the right time? Not really, right? Not really. So it is important, right time? What do you think? Yes. Totally. It's important. How about um, right condition? What is the meaning of right condition? Can you give me examples? Uh huh. Right condition. Do you remember everyone? Yes. Uh -huh. For example, when when you sell food, uh, the food uh, needs to uh, needs to be in. I don't know. Is the word in a great uh, condition uh, for uh, for enjoy it mm -hmm. okay that's correct imagine guys that you buy something to eat and when you receive it it's not good anymore you cannot eat it mm -mm. that is not the right condition or imagine if you buy um a tablet and when you receive it and open the package the tablet is broken mm, that is not the right condition so do you think the right condition is important absolutely very good exactly so right now i want you guys to think about your own experience as a customer Okay, you are the customer. So as a customer, I want you to choose three of the seven R's. Pick three, the ones that you consider are the most important for you. So for example, if we go back here, you have to pick three. The ones that you consider that for you are the most important. So if you think that right product is important, okay, you will check this one. If you think that the right time, it is totally important for you, okay, pick that one. If you consider that the right price, it is important, okay, pick that one, okay? So, this is going to be different. It's going to depend on your own opinion as a customer. What are your priorities? You as a customer, which of these ones are the most important? So everybody, you have two minutes. Think about the three more important R's, okay? While you think about it, I'm going to check attendance. Okay, and if you listen to your names, say present. Um, let's start with Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Boris Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Alberto. Present. All right, very good. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto. Okay. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Very good. Elias Neftali. Okay, very good. Um, Eulise Torres. Eulise Torres. Okay. Um, Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Excellent, very good. Uh, Josman Atilio. Present teacher. Very good. Kevin Alfredo. 
Kevin, Alfredo. All right. Eh, Nelson Alberto. Present. Okay. Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Very good. Pamela Carolina. Pamela. Okay. Uh, Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Santiago Roberto. Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Did you already pick uh, the three more important R's for you, everyone? Yes. So let's see if you picked some uh, R's in common. Let's see. Let me ask to Osman. Osman, for you, which of these R's are the most important? Tell me three. Hey, good evening, teacher. Uh, for me, <laughs> the true the seven hours are important, but you asked me what is the three most important. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, you're uh, only where, uh, right, uh, right time. Right time okay. is very important because we had to give the service on time. Mm. Uh, uh, right, uh, right, right condition, right condition, okay, and right price, and right price. All because right. in my in my company, uh, usually use uh, that's that's three con concepts: uh, the price, service, and quality. Ah, I like that. Interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I like it. Very good. Osman, okay. can you pick one of your classmates, please? Uh, can you repeat? Pick one of your classmates. <laughs> I, I I had to choose a class. Uh... A classmate, yes. A, a okay. victim. <laughs> oh, okay, a victim. <laughs> no, teacher. No, no. No, because but everybody I, wants uh, to participate. Yeah, uh, I know. I, 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 I am so interesting for a, a classmate because uh, this, this classmate uh, have a nice like, like me. Ah, I'm sorry, okay. Hosman, Hosman Serrano. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hosman, how about you? Can you tell me which are, are the most important for you? Okay, teacher. Um, for me, depend the position on the on the company on the consumer. Imagine that um, you are the customer. Okay, in this case, for me, uh, the important is a, a product. Right product. Uh, right product. Right okay. consumer. Right consumer and right price. Mm. Why? Why? Uh, because that, for example, in try product, and uh, for me, important the uh, characteristic the product, um, define the my necessity, my necessary. Necessities. For me. Necessary for me, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, in the uh, consumer, uh, about the whole the 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 logistic, for because the a good consumer. I have uh, my product on the time and the characteristic and complete the necessary uh, information. Okay. And price, the, and price define my decision for the buy the product in the company or other company. Mm. For me, three right is important. All right, very interesting. Thank you, excellent. Uh, pick someone, please. Okay, uh, uh, Edwin Pinteros. All right, hello, Edwin. Hello. All right, Edwin, tell me, which of these R's are the most important for you? Um, in my case, I think uh, um, the right place, 
it's important because when we choose the right place when the uh, products uh, we can buy it uh, if we choose the right place we can give opportunity to the all people can see the quality for the product mm, sounds good what else another one I have to choose another one uh, three okay. you have to give me three okay the other is the right product right uh, product uh, if when we use a right product uh, the people can use or uh, we can show to the people how to use the product and we can we can give uh, to the people uh, the opportunity to to buy a product that is uh, would be less useful mm -hmm. less useful for them and for the daily life. Okay. And the last one? And the last one, I think, is the right price. Wow, ah, okay. Because the people uh, share, uh, sorry, because the people looking for uh, the right price and the right price for them, uh, and the product could be uh, cheaper to mm -hmm. and give them the sorry uh, I forget. All right, but but the concept is there. So for you, right product. Uh, right place you said and the right uh, price those are like the most important now if you see guys some of your classmates if you see right price and right product they have like more people prefer those ones do you agree with your classmates or do you have another idea for you everybody which of these R's are the most important. Do you agree with your classmates? Or do you have another in mind? What do you think? Volunteer, anyone else? Me teacher. Yes, thank you. So some items, maybe I agree. For example, right product, because it's necessary I preside the correct product um mm -hmm. for a customer because I need that uh, recite the product uh, in this case I be the customer and maybe a uh, right quantity mm. because I need to receive I, I think around the product I want to recite the correct product and uh, in the correct quantity exactly yes definitely so if you see guys this is your opinion as customer when you buy something what are you expecting this is something different for each one because as Lorena says for Lorena right quantity it is important for some others you can say um no for me, my priority is the right time. Hmm? It depends on each customer. But if you see, these are the seven R's about logistics. So is it clear, the seven R's? Yes, everyone? 
Yes, teacher. Yes, Excellent. Teacher. Don't forget them, please. Don't forget the seven R's. Okay, now let's think about the logistics problems. When we're talking about the seven R's, like right time, right place, right price, sometimes we can have some problems with those aspects. So that is what we are going to discuss right now. We are going to have some role plays, okay? And I want you guys, one of you is going to be the agent, one of you is going to be the customer. I need a volunteer, please, for read the paragraph in student A. Who wants to read? Only one, please. No, Just no, no, read. No. Yes, go ahead. You're calling customer service? Because you bought some shoes which cost um forty dollar with ninety five cents on your credit card. There is a share of ninety five dollar with forty five cents. Thank you. Okay, look at the scenario, guys. How much are the shoes? How much? 45 with 95 mm. cents. Mm -hmm. 45 and, 99, and 95, okay? You pay for them, you receive the product, there's no problem at all. But when you check your credit card uh, received or bills, you can see that the store didn't charge you $45, they charge you $95. $5, which are fails. Is this the right time? Is related with right price, right condition, or what problem is this? What do you think? You're right price. Very good. We have a logistic problems related to the right price. How will you feel, you as a customer, if you see this difference? What would you do? Would you leave it as it is like, ah, it's okay? Or <laughs> will you contact the company? What will you do? We have to call the, the police. I contact the company. <laughs> we have to call the police because maybe the credit card has been cloned. Right? Ah, <laughs> so, but yeah, the logic is to contact the company, right? I mean, what's going on here? So we are going to do this role play. One of you is going to be the customer and one of you is going to be the agent. So you have to try to offer a solution to the customer, try to convince them to have an agreement. Imagine that you are the owner of the store, I don't know, try to give them something, the refund and offered something else in order that the customer, right, can feel good with the solution. Is it clear? The role play? Yes. Everybody, is it clear? The yes. role play? Now, you as a customer, you can decide what kind of customer you will be. You can be a nice customer, very polite, very friendly, like, yeah, it's okay, it's just a mistake. Or <laughs> you can be a difficult customer, like, mm -mm, I'm angry. <laughs> I don't like this situation. It's not my fault. It's your fault. You are angry. You want your money back. You want to contact the police. You are angry and upset. I don't know. Okay. You decide what kind of customer you want to be. Got it? Yes. Understood. 
Okay, we are going to have another role play, another scenario. And in the second scenario, guys, look at here. A volunteer for reading, please. A scenario number two. Me, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. Okay. Well, in customer service, because you order a laptop online one week ago and you haven't received it yet, you urgently needed to work because you work from here. Boom. Thank you. So imagine these guys. Imagine that you bought or order. What is the product that you order here? Laptop. The laptop. 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 And what happens with the laptop? Uh, I haven't received it yet. Ah, very good. The laptop is not in your home. You haven't received it yet. So which with are do we have problems here? Right product, right price. Right time. Very good. Right time. With right the time. right time. It's not there. And look at this, you need it because you need to work. How would you feel? Would you be happy with this? Or would you be frustrated or angry or sad? How would you feel? Angry. Angry? Angry, upset. Angry. Upset, frustrated, right? I mean, you just have to yeah, wait. So in this scenario, Guys, one of you is going to be the customer and express, explain to the agent how you feel, explain the situation. And you guys, as agent, again, try to offer a solution, okay? I don't know, invent. You can invent the solution. You can give a compensation to the customer to tell them like, you know, you are going to receive 50% discount in your next purchase. I don't know, invent, okay? So I'm going to send the on WhatsApp group both scenarios, okay? So take turns. All right, to pretend that you are the uh, customer. So for example, if Hosman is working with Nelson, in the first role play, Hosman can be the customer, but in the second role play, he can be the agent. Okay, so take turns. Um, as I mentioned before, you can decide what kind of customer you will be. So I'm sending the scenarios on WhatsApp group. Can you see it? Yes. Now I can see some of your classmates mentioned that they are listeners. So everyone, uh, if you are in a group that nobody's participating, let me know so I can switch you to another team. No worries. Uh, uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, let me just create the groups. And remember everybody in this moment, you cannot speak in Spanish, all right? Are you ready everyone? Yes? I guess. Definitely. Excellent. Okay, try to look for solutions, agents. Try to do your best. Let's go to work. How are you? Okay. Uh, Salvador, hi. Hi. Hello. Okay. Uh, I could I could share the the screen if you okay. if you want. 
Okay, who's going to start? <coughs> Anna. <laughs> okay, which other? Okay, Will we choose? <laughs> <laughs> the next role play is for Nelson to end Salvador. Okay, Salvador. okay, Wilbur. And uh, me a customer, and you are uh, agent service, Wilbur. Okay, no problem. Okay, <coughs> I pray. Uh, hey, I, I will be the supervisor. Passion, <laughs> passion, please, okay. with me. Okay. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> Ring. Contest me. Answer me. <laughs> Good night, Wilbur is calling. Good uh, night. How, how may I help you? Good night, my name is Lorena. I have a problem with a delivery that, uh, with a buy that I make with your company. Hi, Lorena. Uh, what's the issue you have? I have a problem with my... Uh, record of a credit card because I see, uh, I saw uh, a pay that I came, no. I see, I saw a pay that is not correct. I have $50 more in my pay. Okay, uh, which uh, shoes did you buy? I buy a uh, shoes. I bought a shoes. Okay. okay, just let me know the cost. And... Okay, the cost of the shoes is uh, 45 away and 95, 95 dollars. Is correct that? Yes, it's correct. Okay, but... Uh, uh, how much do you say is the credit card charge? Is ninety five dollars with forty five cents. Okay, let me check. Uh, because uh, I, don't I have know. I have a difference of fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, yes, that's correct. Double of price of my shoes. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me figure out, please. Give me a moment, uh, uh, and I give you a uh, a solution. Okay. Please. Okay, I wait, but really, really need one solution. Uh, okay. okay, okay. Just give me a moment. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Anna, uh, you're right, there's a problem. Uh, just let me know uh, uh, which uh, which is the is which is the is the model you bought. I so I paid after that I pay with my <laughs> credit card. Okay, but let, okay, let me explain. Uh, the there's an advertisement with leather shoes, little little advertisement. I don't know if you read it, <laughs> but says says if you don't if you pay with credit card and not with a, a cash. Ah, cash cash yeah. Okay, if you buy in cash, the uh, the cost is forty five with ninety five cents. But when you when you bought a credit card, uh, 
the system charge a, a difference, fifty dollars. So I'm sorry, but there's an advertisement. <laughs> I I um, <clears throat> give a demand because it's a publicity. <laughs> because it's, I don't know. I can say publicity engañosa. <laughs> <laughs> fail, fail. I think it's fail, fail. Publicity. <laughs> publicity. Okay. <laughs> but uh, in this case, you can help me? Yes, sure, I can. Uh, just let me uh, uh, just let me uh, share this issue with my manage, uh, manager and give me five minutes and uh, resolve this problem with you, okay? Uh, okay, I, I wait for your call um, as soon as. As soon okay. as possible. As soon as possible. As soon as, as, and as possible. Okay. As, as soon as possible. Okay. 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 Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Manager. <laughs> Sorry. Manager. Manager. This supervisor <laughs> is sleeping. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk to the customer. He's scared. The conversation <laughs> is really good and I'm focused in that conversation. Sorry. Nelson is scared to the customer because she's angry. <laughs> no, hey. I'm hey, busy. That's right. I'm busy. Nelson is I'm manager, sorry. but the manager just hey. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Manager, resolve the problem. Yes. Uh, right now. Ring, ring. Hello? Hey. Uh, I had a, an issue with a customer. Uh, she says she bought a pair of shoes with the cost and uh, uh, 45 with uh, 95 cents. But uh, the credit card check with uh, 95 with 45 cents. And it's the double of the price. It's the double of the price. But uh, she needs a solution. So I don't, I cannot uh, do anything without any authorization. You, you, you have <laughs> checked uh, uh, this purchase uh, about is if a uh, error or it's correct the amount. The amount, uh, it's correct, but it's not uh, correct the price about the, the cost. So uh, she needs a, a solution uh, for a discount in the next search or a discount in the uh, in the in the credit card. What do you say the customer? Well, she wants to return the product or yes. what? No, she she wants a uh, back his money. Ah, but, she get uh, bags. We have to uh, talking about that situation. Please let me know what role do you want. Uh, the, the teacher sent sent us a role play. Uh, which yes. role play we are going to practice? The first or the second? Uh, what do you think? First. The first. Are you sure? Okay, uh, who is who who's want to be a student aid? You can choose. Okay, uh, Edwin, you are you are a student A, and Boris, you are a student B. Uh, do you? Ah, no, 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 no. Let me. I am I am student A. And Edwin, you are a student B. I, I'm going to start. I'm going to start. You are calling customer service because you bought some shoes which cost 45.95 dollars. But on your credit card, there is a share 
point forty five cents. Yes, you have to uh, use this situation as you are a customer that uh, in your credit card you discount uh, more money that you pay it for yes. that product. Okay, I have to. Can I? Can I, I do? Can I do? I try to give. A solution. Hello, good morning. Um, for your uh, situation, I have to review in our system what happened with uh, with this case. Please okay. let me check uh, this, and I give you a solution for this. Okay, Edwin, uh, please uh, hear me because I I, I don't want to pay uh, 95.45 cent dollars. For me, it's not correct because my buy was 45, not 85. Yes, uh, I hope you, you can hear me. Yes, I understand your situation. Uh, we are checking about it and you you have a reason you have a reason uh, for this and this this amount uh, uh, this amount on your credit card uh, will be returned uh, in the Currently, uh, seven days. Okay, Edwin, but uh, tell me how much time I had to waiting for you to resolve my problem. In this case, you have to wait seven days. In this seven days, you, you will have the money in your account again. Having a seven days uh, a, a long time. I can I, I can wait in a long time. I yes. need my money. I need my money right now. I'm sorry, I, mean. I understand. I try to I need my money. Right? Yes. <laughs> very good, I mean, very good. Body, body is well. Uh, oh, well, well, what do you what do you do in this case for me? All right, imagine that the role play is pretty good. I liked it. So Edwin, imagine that you don't know what to do. You don't know, uh, you don't have more options. So tell Osman that you will talk to your supervisor <laughs> to search a solution. And your supervisor will be Boris, okay? So contact okay. Boris and Boris will help you. Go ahead. Boris, I need my money, please. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Okay. The apologies of the case. We will review yeah. the, what happened with the, the system. And, 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 and we will make the we made the return in five business days. Boris, eh, Boris, listen to me, listen to me, please. I, eh, my, eh, my, my buy was for forty-five point ninety-five cent dollar. Oh, yes. Yes. But you, you, but my credit card, eh, had a charge of ninety-five point forty-five dollars. I need my money right now, please. Ah, uh, oh, oh, the 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 apology, apologies of the case. Uh, we 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 will review review that that. I, I, I don't want to, I, with, I don't want to pay the, for a problem. The system, the system okay. for the system is a is a problem. Uh, 
uh, uh, with the the uh, 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 we will review the system. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. He is a. Uh, uh, you help me. Okay. Good night. Good night. <laughs> it's, uh, difficult. <laughs> it's very difficult right <laughs> okay uh, okay so uh, Josman and Carlos Dominguez change okay hello hello Carlos. yes uh, okay. Uh, now change to student A to student B. Okay, Carlos, you're calling. Okay. Ah, uh, uh -huh. okay. Okay. Uh, hello, may I help me? Okay. Carlos Dominguez. Uh, okay, Lady A. Yeah. Okay. Ring. Hello. 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 I I have problem. Okay. What's your name? What's your name? Uh, Hello. Uh, is there is, is the conversation the laptop? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what is your name? Okay, the problem is uh, the, the laptop. I I don't know to oh, to um. Okay. In this in this product, uh, I have a a one year warranty. Okay. What is the solution? Okay, uh, in this moment, um, I will read your, your order because the, what is your name? Com uh, complete, it, please. The problem the laptop is. No, uh, no, your name, your name, your full name. Oh, excuse me. Um, okay. Uh, my name is Carlos Dominguez. Okay. Uh, my, Okay. My, my ID is yeah. zero zero one two three two four four three. Okay. One moment, please. Okay. I'm going to review the in the platform your order. One moment, please. All right. No problem. Okay. Uh, in this case, your computer is the present problem, right? And your guarantee is, is the in the time the review. Uh, but, uh, I have the uh, service uh, and customer service because the communication for you for the thing uh, verification verification the inform the problem uh, and your and your comp and your co uh, computer and analyze and uh, the process the solution the problem right. You order the service. Is the 5553 uh, in the in this moment um approximately 30, uh, 30 minutes uh calling uh, the specification technical um uh because the solution the your problem in the laptop and um, other problem uh, Mr. Carlos uh, no uh, I want I want I want a question. Uh, okay. what is the what is name the agent uh, the ser the server and the laptop? Okay, uh the technic uh I'll call in uh, identification your name in moment as uh, as soon as the your order service, right? 
uh, the RE specification, the calling the information, the name, the, te the technique, the uh, for sol solution the problem. What we call the, your order reply uh, repeat is five 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 three four. Okay. Uh, All right, time's up. We are going to wait for your classmates to go back to the main room. Time's up, time's up, everyone. Let's go back to the main room. All right, all right, time's up. Okay, interesting role play that we had. All right, everyone, easy or difficult, the role plays? What do you think? For me, teacher, <laughs> Difficult. <laughs> difficult. Why? Yeah, what happened? Uh, did, did you have a difficult yes. customer? Yes, I imagined uh, the imagination. <laughs> okay. I was listening very angry customers, guys. But it's just because you were acting, right? You are not that angry. <laughs> After this practice, I will be fired. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Now let's see. Customers, did the agent resolve your problem? More or less. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness. Come on, <laughs> come on <laughs> Lorena. Happy Here, with yes. the solution. <laughs> so you uh, don't read Lorena, a little advertisement. Lorena is the terrible customer. <laughs> <laughs> Even I was a little bit scared and I was just listening to her. Yeah, Lorena but... <laughs> almost made me cry. <laughs> All right. Well, here you solve the problem. But uh... re in the reality, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> okay, pretty good. So Tell me, agent, did you have a easy, uh, an easy customer or difficult customer? Difficult customer. Difficult customer. <laughs> In my case, uh, it was the issue of the, of the platform. Ah, okay. And now I was listening, guys, that some of you even have a supervisor. So that's great. Did your classmates uh, talk only in English? Sure. Mm, are you oh, sure? Of course. Ah. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Okay, listen, um, nice job. Actually, I was listening to all the groups and I was listening the way that you were uh, doing the role play and I really liked it. Very real. Actually, it, it looked very real. Now, uh, there are just little aspects uh, that we need to consider, everyone. Uh, oops, I'm trying to share. Um, for example, good night what is the difference guys between good night and good evening what is the difference night is uh, good night is to, to, uh, goodbye ah very goodbye. good exactly good night is like to say goodbye for example when you go to sleep you say good, good night. night at the end of the class for example, we say good evening. Nine. Good evening. Oh, at the no, end, at the end of the class. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But good evening is it's like to say hello. It's like agreement. Okay. So 
um, if you receive a phone call, which one will you say? Will you say, hello, good night? Or will you say, hello, good evening? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Exactly. Good evening. Good, okay? evening. good evening. This one is just to say goodbye. Understood the difference? Yes? Understood. Very yes. good. Yes. Now, uh, some people say, you know what? I bought a shoes. Can I say that? No. Why not? It's a plural. Very good. Look at this, guys. Shoes is in plural. Can I say a if I'm talking in plural? No. no right? So we cannot combine plurals and singulars. What you can say is a pair, a pair of shoes. In that case, yes, because you are talking about only one pair. Two. But choose a choose, mm -mm, never. So Spanish, <laughs> how can I say this in English? I forgot it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you can say just I forgot it. Got it. it. Because Marvel. it's in past. Okay? Sure. I How do you it. say forget it or forgot it? What happens is that forgot it is in simple past. Imagine mm -hmm. here, estamos diciendo se me olvidó. So that is past. If it is in present, you say for forget it. Get it. Forget that, it. Uh -huh. okay. that is the difference in the pronunciation. Forget in it. present, forget. In past, for got. Forgot. Excellent. Thanks, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, we are going to have the role plays here in the uh, main room. But now let's see. Um mm -mm. Okay, we have one more role play. I need a volunteer, please. Who wants to be the student A? Who wants to be the student B? Volunteers. Me, teacher. I want to be a student A. Excellent. Okay, I have Osman. He's going to be the customer. Volunteer for being the agent. <laughs> Nobody wants to be the agent. Ah, come on, guys. If I don't have volunteers, I'm going to pick someone. No volunteers? <gasps> mm, okay, maybe we should have classes tomorrow, right? Okay, Osman, pick someone, please. Who wants you to be your, your agent? Let me see, teacher. In this moment... A victim. I am, I am, I am looking for a victim. Oh, the, one, the one that is not smiling. Okay, okay. Uh, Carlos Ernesto, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. Now, the scenario will be different, okay? So, look at the scenario. So, Osman, you are the customer. What okay. happens here, Osman, is that... Um, you order for a tablet that you just bought. The tablet, look, is very expensive, okay? You paid a lot of money. And what happens now is that the tablet doesn't work, <laughs> okay? The tablet doesn't turn on. I don't know what is happening. You don't understand, but the tablet just doesn't turn on. Carlos, you are the agent. So try to offer a solution. Is it clear, the role play boys? Yes? Yes, yes. I, I want to try. Excellent. I... So, Osman, I... you decide. You decide what kind of customer you will be. Uh, okay. Ring. Don't answer. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello, hello. <clears throat> you question for me. <laughs> hello, hello. It is it's it is Osman Hernandez. Uh, I feel I feel very bad because uh, uh, 
yesterday I bought uh, a tablet. Uh, my tablet is very bad. Uh, I feel very bad for that. Uh, my tablet doesn't tur turn off, turn on. Uh, my, tablet is, my tablet is bad. I need my money back, please. Uh, hello. Uh, good afternoon. No, 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 no. I need my money. I need, I need my money. I need my money, please. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I... I, I understand your problem. Uh, I permit uh, solving your problem. Um, I can change the tablet or other uh, more, technolo the more technology or to receive uh, maybe uh, something this this count for cent. Excuse me. I suppose you sell me a right condition of the product, but the product I received is not good. It's not good. The uh, the uh, the quality is very bad. No, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I need my money uh, right now. Uh, do, do, do you do, do you hear me? Uh, yes, uh, I. Would you like uh, to switch the tablet? Or other, other better tablet. No, no, no. I, I, I don't want. I don't want to change uh, other product. I need my money. Okay. Uh, we can to do. Uh, <clears throat> what? What? What can I need? What do I we need. Do, do what we do? Do what? We do you do? Okay. If. if I give you two options, but you do not, you not, do you not, uh, you would not want. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's stop, let's stop there. Oh okay. my good, Osman, okay. my goodness, he's offering two options. Sorry, yeah. teacher, I need my money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Carlos, thanks, thanks. All right, thanks. I'm sorry. my goodness, you are difficult customers, but nice job. If you see, Very Carlos, difficult. Carlos gave, uh, he was trying to give options, right? Osman did and accept so well <laughs> but nice I'm job sorry. it's okay you were acting no worries so but you see guys these things happens all right and these problems are problems in logistics so is logistic important yes or no what do you think Yes, it's very yes, important. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, right, absolutely. Because, uh, the company because... fired Carlos <laughs> for Osman. No, oh, yes, Osman, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> not each other, the customer, the customer had to get a, a, a right a quality, yes. Remember, guys, do you remember the phrase that we studied some days ago when I was asking you, the customer is always right. So in these role plays, what do you think? Is the customer always right? Yes, teacher, because the time is, it was <laughs> if you were if you were the customers in the role plays, you say yes. But the ones who were agents, <laughs> right? You are maybe like, no. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know teacher. Okay. But look at this one. That's the idea, right? To relate all the topics that we studied and, of course, practice them. This is a scenario that we can have in our real life. Have you ever called to a company because you didn't receive the service or the product that you expected? Yes. Have you ever called to customer service? <laughs> <laughs> and were you friendly or were you angry? <laughs> ah, poor agent, right? Always friendly. 
Mm, yeah. I'm not sure about it. Yeah. So, all right. But guys, please, let's try to be patient. All right. Excellent job. Um, The ones who are customer, is it easy for you to explain a situation in English? What do you think? Was it easy? Or difficult? For me, it's difficult because um, the vocabulary. Because the vocabulary. the vocabulary. We don't find the words. And you guys, was it easy or difficult? Difficult. Difficult? Difficult. For, difficult? Okay. Yes. For, for, because... poor, for, for poor vocabulary. Ah, all right. So um, we're going to try to have more role plays, okay? But guys, eh, every time that you find a word that you don't know how to say it, please write it. Write it down and then go to the dictionary and try to memorize it. That's the only way that we can improve our vocabulary, okay? Pretty good. All right, guys, let's just stop thinking about logistics problems. Let's calm down. I can see some angry customers over here. <laughs> but you did it great. I really liked it. Excellent. Now, let's continue. Now eh, that we already talked about logistics, about the problems that we can have, now let's analyze vocabulary related to the three PL service. So what is that? We are going to find out what the 3PL is, okay? Have you ever heard the term third party logistic before? Yes? No, teacher. In my case, no teacher. Never, okay. And you guys, have you ever heard that before? No, nobody? All right, no worries. We are going to learn what is the meaning of third-party uh, logistic. Uh, volunteer for reading the box, please. Me? Yes. Okay. Third-party logistic or 3PL is essentially when a provider offers to a business outsourced the distribution, warehousing, and transportation of their products. Thank you. Okay, we are going to understand what a third party logistic is. Imagine guys that you work for a company and your company is the manufacturer. Okay, that's what you do. You just manufacture the product, but you don't have a, a way to transport. You don't have a big warehouse to save the product and you don't have a place, you don't have the resources to package the product. So what do you need to do? You need to hire another company who does that process for you. Got it? The other company is going to be the third party. Teacher, it, it's like outsourcing? Exactly. That's what it is. Okay. Third party logistics, guys, is just related to outsourcing. So why does it receive the name of third? Okay, let's analyze the reason. We have one or first party logistic, we have second party logistic, and we have the third party logistic. That is the ones that we want to talk tonight. Okay, let's see the difference. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the first party logistic. Me? Yes, go ahead. A business manufacturing TV, parts, the store, and the leaders and delivers it directly to customers. Thank you. So in this 
first party logistic, guys, basically what we are saying is there is a cost a, a company and the company okay. does all the job, everything. They do everything. Look, they manufacture the product, they pack the product, they uh, sell it, they deliver the product. I mean, they do all the process. Do they need outsourcing? Yes or no? Do they Depends. need another company? Depends. Why? No. No, in Look. No. No. The, if the the demand and the demand and crop ah. is necessary, is necessary more person. Ah, okay. That's a good point. I mean, of course, if the demand grows, maybe they will need it. But in this moment, they this are moment. doing. Uh -huh. Look, they are doing everything. They don't need another company. They don't need outsourcing because they are doing all the job. Wow. Can you be living in, in one company that is one or first party logistic? Can you think in a one? Yeah. Uh -huh. In the company, it is necessary outsourcing for the the personal incapacity. Mm -hmm. Incapacitado. Yes, but remember, or, or we are checking. The, or for the vacation. Could be, yes. But in these moments, let's see. We are just talking about the first party logistics. The ones who doesn't need outsourcing in the first party logistic guys the company does everything and a clear example for this kind of company is Dell do they manufacture the products what do you think yes yes do they package the product yes yes do yes. you think that the um, Dell has their own stores? Absolutely. Yes, they have their stores. Do you think that they have delivery service? Sure. Actually, Dell is a big company. They have everything. They don't need outsourcing. They don't need to hire another company to do the job because they can do it by themselves, okay? That is a first body logistic. Is it clear, this one? Teacher, in this uh, case... Okay, I heard someone, yes? yes in this case... Uh, uh, Tell, for example, does everything, uh, and I want to say they are they are sufficient. Mm -hmm. uh, how can I say? It? They are sufficient, or yeah, they are totally sufficient. Okay. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know, but uh, I understand. In this first para logistic, uh, it is the same direct channels. Yes, very good. You are yeah. related to the topics. Yes, it's basically okay. the same. Do you remember the direct channel, guys? Because the manufacturer yes. uh, uh, mm -hmm. make the product and sign, send direct to customer. Exactly. Look. They send the products directly to the customer. And in, in this case, the, the manufacturer uh, obviously uh, make the products and have all stores mm -hmm. and then sells direct to the customer. Exactly. Okay. Normally, guys, the company that can do this are the big companies right because they have money enough to do all the process 
It's a little bit different with those companies that are a little bit smaller because they cannot do all the process. And that is the example of the second party logistic. What happens in the second party logistic? Um, I need a volunteer for reading, please. Me teacher. Yes, go ahead. A business manufacturing TV packs, store and outsourcing delivery to customer using a courier. Thank you. Okay, let's pay attention with keywords here. Okay, in this company, it says that, okay, they manufacturing the product, they pack the products, they sell the product because they have like their own stores, but what happens with the delivery? Uh, what is the meaning of courier? Have you ever seen that word? Correo. Yes. Exactly. Mensajería, correo. Yes, I heard someone. I heard someone. Do you have a question? Go ahead. Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends on the quantity of the others. What do you mean? For example? Uh, I uh, I have a limit the the others uh, by the courier. Mm, it depends on the company and depends on the demand. Mm -hmm. It depends on each company. Now imagine in this scenario, guys. Look, does the company need outsourcing? Yes or no? What do you think? Depends on the demand. Mm, but look, it says that they outsource delivery. So in this scenario, guys, in the second party logistics, it says they manufacture the product, they package the product, they sell the product, but they don't have delivery. They don't have that. So what happens here? They need to hire another company who does the job. I'm going to give you an example. Imagine that Hosman has a company, okay? Hosman's uh, Inc., <laughs> okay? That's the name of the company. Hosman manufactures TVs, okay? In his company, Hosman, they manufacture the TVs, they packed the TV, and he has his own stores and he sells the TVs. However, imagine that Anna, Anna is the customer, right? And she wants to buy a TV, but she cannot go until Hosman's store. So she asked for delivery, but Hosman doesn't have that service. So what does he need to do? He needs to hire a company who does the deliveries process. So Hosman calls to um, Nelson's companies, okay? He has a company of transportation, delivery, career. So look, that's why it's named two-party logistic. How many companies are involved in the process until the product gets to the customer? How many companies do I have here? Two companies. Mm, look, I have Hosman company and I have Nelson's company. That's why the name is two or second party logistic. Sure. Uh huh. Uh, uh, for example, one PL manufacturing TV pack store. E two PL manufacturing TV pack store. Why the difference in, in, in the, the delivery uh -huh. the customer? The difference is 
Look, en el first PL, guys, ellos hacen todo el proceso. Ellos lo hacen, ellos lo empacan, ellos lo venden, y si quieren delivery, ellos también tienen delivery. La diferencia con el number two en the second party logistic es que ellos no tienen servicio de delivery. ¿Ok? Si un cliente desea que se les envíe el producto, ellos no tienen, look at it in this way, no tienen el transporte, no tienen camiones, motocicletas o carros a través de los cuales ellos puedan enviar el paquete. ¿Right? Entonces, ¿qué tienen que hacer? Ellos tienen que contratar una compañía que ofrezca ese servicio. All right. Sí. Yes. Sí. Uh, need more employees, teacher. También, right? Uh -huh. uh, creo que alguien teacher. tenía. Yes, go ahead. Sí, es, es, excuse me, I'm going to speak in Spanish in this case because I, I, nah. I, I don't say. Post I don't Spanish. understand. I don't understand uh, Spanish. Uh, uh, <laughs> Eh, usualmente bien común de que en este tiempo en nuestro país muchas personas venden sus productos uh -huh. eh, y voy a decirlo ropa usada, calzados eh, etcétera y lo venden en línea, tienen sus páginas eh, eh, online uh -huh. pero ocupan una empresa mensajería que los va a distribuir sus productos That's correct. Frecuentemente yo veo personas en las gasolineras, ya un vehículo y mucha gente llega allí a traer sus paquetitos, su, su pantalón, su vestido, lo que sea. Eh, pienso que puede ser un mercado similar a lo que usted está mencionando en este momento. It is. Yes, it is. No a gran escala, pero Exacto. it is. Exactly. Think mm. about, guys, look, just think about those fast food restaurants. Okay, imagine that you want to buy eh, something to eat, okay? Algunos restaurantes tienen sus propios delivery, pero algunos no. ¿Y qué usan? Ahí está eh, Hugo, no sé cómo se llaman esas companies, I'm sorry. Oh, eh, Hugo, 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 right? Hugo. I think, yeah. ajá. Hugo, yeah. Está el Uber Eat, Uber right? Eats. I don't remember the other pronto, ones. Pronto. Ah, ok. So imagine, what does it mean? Los restaurantes, ellos hacen la comida? Yes. Ellos empacan la comida? Yes. yes. Ellos la venden? <laughs> well, yes. yes. Pero ¿cuál Very es el problema? Right. Que no la pueden ir a dejar. Right? So, in this case, tenemos otra compañía involucrada en el proceso. Y esa compañía, a esa compañía se le llama Second Party Logistic. Understood? Yes? Yes, teacher. Very good. So, is it clear the difference between the first party and the second party logistic? Everyone? It's clear. Excellent. Okay, now let's see the other, the third party party logistics so what happens here i need a volunteer please for reading the third party logistic me teacher yes a uh, 3pl a business only manufacturers tv and outsource the transport packaging warehousing and fulfillment to a 3pl service provider thank you That is very interesting. What is happening here? In this case, the company, what is the function? They only, only manufacture. manufacture. That's all. That's all what they do. So what happens? They need to hire or outsource more companies to do the rest of the job. Okay, they manufacture the, the product. No tienen donde guardarlo. ¿Qué necesitan hacer? hire or outsource a uh, company that they can do the warehousing. Um, they don't have transportation, okay? They need outsourcing for transport. They don't package the product, all right. They need to outsource a company to do uh, that job. So how many companies are involved? in the process. Only one company? Two companies? 
Free conference. Yes. Okay. So imagine in this case, there are different companies involved in all the process. Okay. So in this scenario, guys, which one? Imagine that you have a company. Which one do you want to be? Do you want to be the company for the first PL, second PL, or the three PL? Which one do you want to be? What do you think? Which kind of company? Imagine that you are the owner. ¿Qué tipo de compañía les gustaría tener? Number Maybe one, second. two, or three. Which one? Maybe second. The second one, why? Yeah. Because I can, uh, how do you say llegar? All right. I write to more customers, but I don't need uh, more uh, companies in Bolo Craze because the business maybe have more problem because I need coordinating more activities um, mm -hmm. for this reason. <laughs> it makes sense. Imagine in the third party logistic, do you think that it's easy <laughs> to plan all the logistic? Hmm. No. All of these ones guys has its own advantages and disadvantages right because look at in the number one can you name some of the advantages that we can have in the first party logistic which advantages can we have there what do you think they no payment the other company they don't have to pay to other companies yeah that's a huge advantage but in my opinion, mm -hmm. I, I prefer uh, two options to par logistic. Okay. Uh, be, because uh, if if I be manufacturer, uh, I just make the product. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. if I made the product, uh, my responsibility is, is sold uh, until the product get get the the, the customer. But I don't have problem with the transportation, uh, for ex because uh, when I use the uh, what kind of transportation, it's, it's very uh, the cost is it, it's expensive. If I only manufacture it, uh, make the product, I outsourcing other company uh, get my uh, take my product and put uh, direct the customer. Mm -hmm. uh, the cost is only the, the this company. Could be. That's a good point. Think about these guys. Okay, imagine that you manufacture furniture. Do you know what furniture is? Muebles? Yes. Muebles. Now, ¿creen que transportar los muebles es fácil? No, no, no. ¿Cabe en un carrito chiquito? No. <laughs> no. Necesitan, like, huge transportation. So, si ustedes sí. son un first party logistic y ustedes van a hacer los deliveries, tienen que hacer una inversión muy grande. ¿Por qué? Porque tienen que comprar los camiones donde van a transportar el producto. ¿Creen que son baratos? ¿Is that cheap or expensive? Oh. It's expensive. It's expensive. It's so, va a ser una gran heavy. inversión. Heavy? Apart the, this uh, heavy listen. No, 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 only expensive by the, 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 the camiones. The, the more trucks. expensive the truck, the more mm -hmm. expensive is uh, the maintenance, the maintenance. yes, maintenance. exactly. And here we have an advantage because imagine, um, tal vez el delivery no lo vamos a usar like every single day, right? 
y vamos a tener que estar manteniendo los camiones. That's why some companies prefer to opt or outsource a delivery company. Why? Ah, porque ellos solo van a pagar el viaje, right? Bueno. And they don't have to buy the trucks. They don't have to pay the mechanics. ¿Qué pasa si el camión se arruina? ¿Quién va a pagar eso? The transportation company. Exactly. That's not your business. Ustedes van a pagar por el transporte. Si el camión se arruinó, I'm sorry, but that's not your business. Okay, so that's why Not some paying. companies, exactly, that's teacher, why some teacher. companies prefer this one. Teacher, uh -huh. other reason. Yes. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to speak in Spanish. It's ah, English. come on. Speak English. Okay, uh, okay. In my company, in my company, I know uh, uh, the, the outsourcing transportation uh, make a contrato. It's a contract with an company. Uh -huh. eh, tanto por viaje durante todo un año el, y, y si los costos de envío aumentan, I'm sorry but tu contrato es este Exactly. Entonces, la empresa subcontratada tiene que cargar con absorber los costos ah. yes, that's a good point what happens with the gasoline or with the gas yes. if you are first party logistic I mean those are some money that you have to pay But, as your classmate mentioned, in the second party logistics, you give some amount of money. If the prices increase, <laughs> that's not your business. Okay? So, these guys has its own advantages and disadvantages. Okay? It's a good idea to have first party logistics. Yes, if you are a big and solid company. Because you have enough money. But if you are not so big company, if you don't have all the resources, it's better to use second or third party logistics. Understood, everyone? Yes? Second. Any questions so far about the definitions? No? Sure. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yeah. And so the second company is the second party logistics. Yes. Okay. Listen, uh, we call second party logistics because there are two companies involved in all the process. Okay? Okay. Pretty good. Now let's continue. Look at this one. The question is, right now there are different companies that they are outsourcing like third party logistics. But the question is, why? Why the businesses are changing and they are preferring to be three party logistic providers? So that is the question, why? Why do many companies prefer mm -hmm. to be with a third party logistic? I need a volunteer please for reading the paragraph. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Why did businesses shift to Trippia provider? People began purchasing goods in record numbers from tens of tens of websites and marketplace. Millions of and returns being processed every day. Although this was good for business for thousand doing business online, it also present the following set of challenges when it comes to managing the logistic and supply chain of some. All right, thank you, Edwin. Okay, everybody, so why? Why do you think that now many companies prefer to change to 3PL providers? Why? According to the paragraph. Uh -huh. Any idea? Okay, look, it said that people 
began to buy a lot of things, guys, in record numbers. Look, millions. We have millions of orders every day. Imagine, guys, now during the quarantine because of the COVID that everybody started to buy online. So do you think that the companies are enough? <laughs> Can they provide all the service? Hmm, not really, right? It's, it's difficult for them because there are a lot of people. They have a lot of orders, a lot of customers. They cannot provide it to all of them. They have too much work. So they are not enough. That's why they are changing, okay? Because for them, it's easier to do the job, okay? That's the reason why they are changing. So many companies are big companies. And even though, even when they are big and strong companies, now they are using 3PL providers. So it is important, guys, to use 3PL providers. Yes or not? Yes. Think about your company. Yes. Does your company use a 3PL providers? Yes or no? What do you think? Yes, teacher. All right, pretty good. Uh, for, for example, uh, and comment that uh, mm -hmm. depend uh, depend that if, that if the company and different and different category category mm -hmm. the, the the company is necessary uh, involucrate the three four uh, three PL in the case is different because it's necessary not cover the whole the activity of the, the company. All uh, is necessary, uh, other activities and other uh, outsourcing for the logistics that company is necessary. Totally. Independent, independent the, the type of company. Correct. Guys, the demand is huge. So that's why I mentioned, it doesn't matter if the company is big and solid, big companies are using outsourcing, all right? So it's pretty important. So is the concept of 3PL clear? Yes? Do you have any questions about it? Everyone? Yes? No? I comment. Uh huh. Uh, in my case, I saw grow a query El Rosario. Mm -hmm. e, in the beginning, um, I think they use 1PL, but uh, step by step, the growing, growing, uh, uh, change to PL. So, CPL. Now they are 3PL? Yes. Imagine, guys. Yeah, that means that they are growing. That's great. It's a very good example. The owner, uh, they were neighborhood. Neighbor. They were your neighbors? Yeah. Oh, that sounds For, good. Yeah. All right, very interesting. But yeah, that's another example. Actually, guys, there are different companies that now they are 3PL, okay? Any questions so far? Or is it totally clear? Yes? Okay, now before continue, guys, I'm going to check attendance again. So when you listen to your names, you know what to do. Ana Lorena? Present teacher. Okay. Boris Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Present teacher. Very good. 
Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Very good. Elias Neftali. Okay. Uh, Ulise Torres. Okay, very good. Um, Jose Salvador. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Um, Josman Atilio. Present. Very good. Kevin Alfredo. Kevin, no? Okay. Nelson Alberto. Present, teacher. Very good. Osman Enrique. Present, teacher. Very good. Pamela Carolina. Okay. Rafael Alexander. I think he's listening, right? Okay. Um, Santiago Roberto. And Wilber Alberto. Present. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, let's see. I know that the time is, is pretty short. My gosh. Okay, guys. I want to um, practice in these minutes that we have. I want you to practice a little bit simple past. Okay. Um, some of the students ask to practice this topic. So let's take a little so minutes to practice simple past, okay? Uh, do you remember the structure of the simple past? Yes, a little bit. Mm. The subject, not yet. Okay, the subject, after the subject, what do I need? Plus, plus, verb. verb. I, I need a verb, but the verb needs to be plus. in? Past. Past, and then? The compliment. Perfect. Imagine if I ask you guys, what did you do today in the morning? What did you do? What did you do? Mm -hmm. For example, I, um, I taught English. That's what I did. Lorena, what do you do? I ate my breakfast. Very good. I ate my breakfast. Sounds good. And you guys, what do you do? I, I woke up. I, I, a shower. Right. Okay. I took a shower. Uh huh. I understood the lesson. Uh -huh. Very good. I understood the lesson. What else? I wash uh, uh -huh. the, the glass. Ah, very good. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Anyone else? I, I read the book. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lorena, do you say something? I draw to my job. Very good. If you see, you are telling me sentences in simple past. That's great. What happens if I want to say these sentences, but in negative? What do I need to do? Hidden. Hidden. Very good. Okay, in negative, I need the subject. What else? I didn't, I didn't, I did not. I need the auxiliary, right? The auxiliary is? Didn't, didn't. didn't. okay. Verb. I need a verb. The verb um, is the always in past? Yes or no? No. No. Oh. no. What happens with the verb? Present. Base form? It's base basically form. in the base form. Okay. That means no changes. Okay. And after the verb, what do I need? Complement. Complement. Good. Can you tell me something that you didn't do today? For example, I didn't go to the beach. <laughs> Tell me something that you didn't do. Uh -huh. I didn't. Okay, I didn't Lorena, do, Lorena first. Do, and, then, and then Osman, okay. okay. Okay, I didn't take a bus. I didn't take a bus, pretty good. Osman? I didn't do the homework. <laughs> my goodness 
it's, a, it's an example. Teacher. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Very good. I didn't do the homework. What else? Tell I me something. I didn't eat the breakfast. <gasps> Why? That's the most important food the, of the day. The, is the <laughs> the inter inter ayun ayun intermittent. <laughs> ah, <laughs> all right, that's interesting. <laughs> exactly. So very good examples. Excellent. Now I know that you remember the structure, so I don't want to spend so much time in the structure. What I want, guys, is to pay attention and practice the pronunciation because I feel that this is generating some issues. Remember that in simple past, we have two type of verbs. We have the regulars and the irregulars. Now let's practice only the regulars. What is the characteristic of the regular verbs? Is that they are ending in ed. Do you remember that one? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, for example, oops, let me write it correctly, I'm sorry. So they are ending in ED. For example, play. If I want to say play in past, what do I need to do? Play it. I, exactly. play it. Add TV. I just need to add ED. If I want to say cook in past, what do I need to do? Okay. Same. The same. Yeah. If I want to say, mm, what else? Wash. Wash. Need. 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 So, Neither. the problem with them is not the spelling. The problem is the pronunciation. The pronunciation. Can I say I play it soccer? Play it. Play. 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 Ah. Play. Can I say I cook it? I cooked. I cooked. Can I say I wash it? Washed. Washed. Ah, so that is what we are going to practice. I know that some of you remember the topic, but sometimes we forget. So let's practice. Um, which verbs are going to be pronounced with the letter T? Do you remember? Cook. Which one? Cook. 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 So pronounce it, cook in past, please. Cook. Cooked. Cooked. Okay. Cook. Can you give me an example of verbs that will be pronounced with the letter D? What do you think? Any idea? Wash. Played. Ah, very good. Played. Played. Can you give me an example of verbs that will be pronounced with the ED or ID? Needed. Needed, very good. So what is the characteristics? Why do we have verbs that are pronounced in a different way? What do you think? What is the difference? What is the rule? Do you remember the rule? Consonant before. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's correct. Yeah. So that is what we need to check today. Uh, we only have five minutes for this one, so. Look at this one. I'm going to share here. Look, here in this box, we have the rules. The verbs that are ending in these sounds, like t and d, will be pronounced as ed. For example, want, we are going to say wanted, needed. The ones that are ending in these sounds, they will be pronounced as t. For example, what is the pronunciation of this verb? Can I say helped? Helped. Ah, we are going to say helped. How about, can I say dancer? 
I danced. Can I say that? No, dance. Ah, we are going to say danced. Danced. Now, the verbs that are ending in these sounds, they will be pronounced like a D. For example, can I say called? Uh huh. Yes or no? Can I say called? No. What is the pronunciation? Cold. Cold. Ah, we are going cold. to say called. Called. Can I say love? Love. Ah, love. we are going to say love. Loved. Yeah. So that's the rule of the pronunciation. Understood? Yes? Yes. See? yes. Remember, this is a topic that you already know. It's just a quick review. Let's have a quick practice because of the time. Um, we can continue practice it later, okay? Look push. at this verb. I have push. So what will be the pronunciation? Can I say pushed or with the pushed or pushed? The what first. Do you think? Pushed. The first one? Pushed. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Yes, yeah, I agree. Right. Yes. Pushed. Yes. So we are going to say pushed. pushed, pushed. I need you guys to exaggerate the pronunciation. With the time, it will sound like more naturally, but right now, try to exaggerate. How about Walk. this verb? Walk. 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 The first, the second, yeah. or the third? Third. The third one? Yes. So can I say walk kill? No. 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 Mm -mm. no. So walk. Walk. Walked. 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 So how can I say yo caminé? How can I say that? I walked. 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 Very I good. Walked. Clean. Hmm. What will be the pronunciation? Clean. 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 Second one. Second the second one. one? Second Cleaned. One. Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Cleaned. Yes. Cleaned. How can I say yo limpié mi cuarto? How can I say that? I cleaned I, I my, cleaned room. my room. My bedroom. Ah, I cleaned my room my or room. I my cleaned bedroom. my bathroom. Very good. Cleaned. Cleaned. Yeah. How about this Drop. one? What Drop. do you think? Number one, number two, or number three? Number one. Um, Drop the number one. Drop. Dropped. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. yes. Dropped. Yeah, that's correct. Call. Mm -hmm. How about this one? Second one. Called. Called. Are you sure? Yes. Called. Totally. Good job. Add. How about this one? One, two, or three? One, add. Add? Three. Yes, the one. Mm. Number three. Number three. Added. Yes. Remember, added. it's ending added. in these sounds. Indeed. So we say yeah. added. added. Very good. Okay, uh, the last one, because of the time. Kiss. Uh huh. One, two, or three. Number one. Number one. Pronounce it, please. Yes. Kissed. 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 Excellent. Now listen. We don't have more time, so in the next class we can continue practicing this topic. The idea, guys, is to be experts. Okay, in the pronunciation of the simple past. Okay.
Uh, just okay. a reminder, everybody. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Tomorrow, no classes. Vacation. Okay? Vacation. But tonight, tonight we have a winner. <laughs> and the winner uh, is Josman. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, so Josman you Serrano, lucky. you have to stay. The rest of you guys, you are totally free. Have a wonderful okay. weekend. See you until Monday. See you good Monday. Night. Good, night. Good, night. good night. Good night. See you. Take care. See you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. See you on Monday. <laughs> All right, Husman, let's Bye, have a quick meeting. I don't want to take so much time. No worries. So, how are you? Um, I pray I'm learning. The every day, the new vocabulary, um, man, sure, the, the speaking, a little, a little advanced the pronunciation and speak. But you are doing great. I like that. So, do you have any questions about the topics that we studied today? No, teacher for women, no question. Uh, and, uh, the, the temas in topics. No. topics topic and the topic uh about the, this moment uh, uh the read and write um new vocabulary very expensive vocabulary and, and learning um because uh a similar that my activity in my job mm -hmm. because the 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 class and it's practicing uh it's a uh, facility the, the the expression as um significant the, the activity in English, no in Spanish as <laughs> is uh, the different because the very easy thing uh and similar the the the, the topic I'm practicing my job. Ah, uh, that's great. So basically the topics are related in your job. Yeah. Excellent, that's great. Okay, so Josman, how about the platform? Have you worked on the platform? No, teacher, at this moment, uh, um, lesson two finished in this moment, already for a moment, uh, standby. <laughs> okay, but actually, I can see that you already finished the unit number one and the unit number two. So that's great. Yeah. Look, um, yeah. I can see your progress over here. So it's pretty good. You have been advancing a lot. That's great. Yeah. Um, how do you feel the platform? Easy or difficult? Uh, easy because the. Uh, 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 and typical the number the uh, on the most difficult I order the the expression is a um I'm very a little a uh, uh, difficult the order. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, the order is very 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 important the the learning and review the class in the platform. That's great. That's great. Yeah. Okay, so what do you think that is most difficult here in the class? Speaking, listening, grammar, writing. What is the most difficult for you? Um, the listening, listening is my. Is for me is uh, listening and gram and grammar. Okay. Two, two. Um, the uh, more the more the vocabulary and practice. Uh, and the grammar is a uh, simple <laughs> speak and okay. different uh, uh, writing, right? Uh, because the listening is yes, more difficult for me. Okay. I am practice, for example, the every day uh, in the platform interview and TV. Mm -hmm. uh, and for example, in Netflix, I view the series in English and listen it in English and traduction. Uh, in English, no Spanish, because the my my main the exercise and yeah. I don't mean no 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 more the significant I 
traduction and Spanish. <laughs> no, but that is that is that is important. Keep going. Yeah. I mean, if you feel listening is difficult, continue practicing that. So watching movies, yeah. watching series in English, listening to music in English. That's music, a good yeah. idea. Yes, that's yeah. great. Yeah. All right, very bunch, good. A little, little about something in English. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing great. You are doing great. Um, I like that when you can do it, you always participate. I can listen to you in the breakup rooms. That's great. Just yeah. like a cuesta because you are tired. Sometimes your classmates, they don't want to participate because they are tired too. You are doing a big effort. I know that it's not easy, yeah. but you are doing great. Okay, so no, keep going, um, keep going. Yeah, uh, um, one comment is uh, very important: the mm -hmm. uh, learning and practice the speaking and yes. the vocabulary is necessary, expensive for the more the pronunciation mm -hmm. and speaking. And um, uh, a medida uh, practice the uh, the speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, I have I I agree that I'm happy that more pronunciation. Yes. I'm expressing the, the idea. And that's yeah, that's why guys, I always try to include speaking activities in the class because in yeah. every single class, I want you to speak. All right. Yeah. So in every single class, we are going to have activities of speaking because that's the idea. I want you to talk. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, your class is uh, I like you because it's a very very participant and uh, and speaking and grammar is very important. The theory is important because in this the this uh, <laughs> uh, the topic the topic the topic the topic is is the pronunciation. This yes. is very good and. Congrats to your, 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 your style, the, the class. I like ah, it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to listen it's to that. It's very dynamic. It's very dynamic. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. I mean, remember that if the class is not dynamic, <laughs> you can feel <laughs> sleepy, right? Yeah. That's yeah, why exactly. I always want you to talk. I always want you to participate. <laughs> So, eh, exactly. Josman, you are doing a great job. I have good feedbacks for you. Así que espero Thank que you. así se mantenga. All right? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Teacher. Pretty good. Okay. Um, I don't know. Do you have any other comment or any other question? For women, no, teacher. Okay. All right. All right. So, thank you, Josman, for staying. Thank have you, a wonderful teacher. weekend. See you on Monday. Okay. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye.